let's dive into some of the enzymes. So, I mean, obviously there's different kinds that are out there. We have, you know, your proteolytic, your, your amylase, your, your carbohydrate base, your, your lipase. Obviously there's some that are enteric coated. You have like your lumbrokinase, your serapeptidase. What type of enzymes do you like and at what levels? Uh, the enzymes that I use with cancer patients are actually just bottom line, freeze dried pancreas in a capsule. They're not, mm. and there is a, a little bit of an activation process that's done, but there's some debate as to whether the truly active thing with cancer is the proteolytic, that, that means protein dissolving, yeah, you know, protein, proteolytic yeah. enzymes, um, or whether it's actually the precursor form for those proteolytic enzymes. Um, because when the enzymes are sitting there in the pancreas, they're actually what are called proenzymes. They're not quite active because if they were active, they would chew up the pancreas and that's no good. Right. Um, that's actually very bad if that happens. Right. And so they, they come as this packaged form, a precursor form. Um, but there are some scientific studies that would suggest that that's actually what's active against cancer and not the truly activated enzymes. So by, by just using freeze-dried pancreas, uh, we're getting quite a lot of the enzymes that are available actually in the precursor form. That's what we use. Yeah. So do you do like a, like a pancreatic, like, like a, a protomorphogen type of thing, like a glandular extract? The, no, it's, it's just freeze dried meat in effect. Huh. It's, it's with everything intact, fat and everything. Um, you know, there's some reasons to believe that the fat may actually stabilize the enzymes. Um, those mm. protomorphogens, um, I must admit, I'm not completely familiar with exactly how they're processed, but I believe that it's a salt precipitate, which means that they, they mince up the organ and then they mix it into a salt solution yeah. and then see what settles out. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure that's it. Some of the fat. Yeah. This, what we're using is a lot simpler um, and it's, you know, everything in the organ is in effect in the glandular. That's great. So you're getting like a full ancestral type of support. And is there a certain supplement company do you like for the glandular specifically? I know Dr. Gonzalez, I think has mentioned standard process. There's other ones out there. Is there anyone yeah, that you the, like? The product that I use, the, the closest thing that's commercially available is made by Allergy Research Group, um, oh, yeah. which, yep. also, which also sells under the label Nutricology. Uh, yeah. And it's called pancreas. Um, so that's, that's, uh, there's a small company that only sells to my patients that I mainly use, that's but that, the allergy research group product is, is available commercially. That's great. And then what kind of doses are you using? Are you, are you spreading it throughout the day? And does it matter if it's empty stomach when you dose it specifically? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, to some extent, I don't really like to get into a lot of details because I, I don't think it would be very responsible of me to encourage people to try to treat themselves with uh, right. something as serious as cancer. You know, and also the um, the the doses vary uh, depending on um, the person, depending on the type of cancer. But it's very important that it be away from food. Uh, these are yeah. digestive enzymes. And the, the goal with what I'm trying to do is give them to people to get into their system and work systemically, not just to thoroughly digest whatever they had for lunch. Um, so, so I, I do recommend a few enzymes with meals and for that matter, I recommend that for anybody. Um, yeah. but, uh, for patients that are fighting a cancer or have a strong family history, you know, whatever the concern might be, that would be when you would take them away from food. Got it. And so obviously you're going to be working with the patient. You're going to be looking at their overall health, how aggressive the cancer is. Maybe there's some objective and subjective markers you're looking at. So then you're going to work with that patient and then dial it in specifically for their needs. Is that correct? That's right. Uh -huh. Got it. Do you ever plug in, like you hear these other enzymes that are out in the markets. I use them, you know, for, for blood flow, or even you can see them you use for like breaking down fibroid tissue, things like that, like serapeptidase or lumbrokinase or natokinase. Do you have any opinion on those or any therapeutic um, rationale to use those in your practice? Well, I use a few plant-based enzymes um, as a digestive aid. Uh, so mm -hmm. um, for example, the standard process product Multizyme, I use some of yeah. that as just as a yeah. digestive aid. And um, there's, some, there's some reason to believe that 
amylase specifically, um, one of the other enzymes that breaks down starches. And that's, that's in a lot of both plant-based enzymes or in the pancreatic enzymes for that matter. But there's reason to believe that a little extra of that can help with some of the waste materials um, that can form as the enzymes do their thing. Um, so I use some enzymes for that. Otherwise, it would be more about specific circumstances. So you you just mentioned some of the things that um, some of those other enzymes are good for, and uh, I might well use them for that. Got it. 